Hey y'all, it's the Costume Jeweler. I'm excited about this Goodwill store in Plano, Texas. I have not been in here in a super long time. We're going to go in here and see if they have any purses and jewelry for resale on YouTube and eBay. So check out my YouTube live sales. Hit that notification bell. Subscribe to my channel. Purses can be found on ebay.com forward slash USR forward slash Costume Jeweler. So I have found things here in the past before, such as purses and jewelry. Looks like they've changed up the store a little bit. So let's go in here and see what's different. See if we can find anything to resell. The store is definitely set up different. It's actually more clean. This is very clean. So the purses and jewelry used to all be over here in the counter too. So we're going to see what they've got. I don't know if they're going to have any purses behind the counters or where they're going to have purses. But you can see here what they've got. So we're going to look around and hope that we can find a treasure. It's not a very big purse section. They should probably have more uh, sections here for purses. But they don't. So we will just do what we can with what we have. Do what we can with what we have available to us. That's about all we can do. I have no idea what this purse is. Looks like a makeup bag. No idea on that. So we'll just see. So we'll dig through these first. See if there's anything in here. It's not a very big section for wallets. As I have said numerous times in my past videos, you can't ever discount small stores. This looks like it's made out of wicker. I don't know what that means. The color on this is great, but I have no idea what that brand is. Here's a Brighton, that's cute. That's cute. Stand back where you can see it. It's a super cute. Oh, that's new. So that's a love tote. I don't know if that's something that was given for free or if that was for sale. I'm thinking that that might have been something that was given away for free. So Christmas. Maybe a Christmas bag. Like a gift bag that's given with a purchase if you guys know comment below if you know comment below so I think Brighton's a great brand I like buying Brighton so this is a great tote and you could use it for sewing material and beach beach bag and things like that this is Christmas so you're not gonna carry a Christmas beach bag unless it's during Christmas I don't know, just trying to come up with ideas of why you should get it. Or, you know, not why you should get it, but why it would be worth buying. So this is genuine leather. Not sure who this brand is. RFID blocking capabilities in it. I saw the jewelry up there behind the counter. I can't wait to get up there to that. Because you just never know. You never know, do you? So here's a old uh, Vera Bradley. So most of the Goodwills around here, I believe, I don't hold me to it. I believe that they close at 10 o'clock. At least that's what GPS says. But we all know that GPS is not always correct. So I don't know what brand that is. Again, I don't have to have a certain brand, but I do like to find the different brands. But I don't necessarily have to have a brand purse. What I look for is character, durability. If it looks nice, that's kind of fancy. That looks like patent leather, but it's not. But that's beautiful. Let's see what brand this is. Hope you guys are loving my videos. I try to take you guys thrifting with me. Because I know a lot of people don't get out. Now, Lily Bloom, this is not new. It looks new. This is a Christmas. I 
So I've seen Lily Bloom a lot. I don't ever buy it. But that's super cute. Look at all that for Christmas. That'd be a cute Christmas crossbody when you're out shopping for Christmas gifts and things like that. But no, I really do hope you guys enjoy my thrifting videos. When I go into these stores, you know, together we don't know if we're going to find anything for resale or not. It's the chance we take. That looks to be vintage. I don't know if it is. I don't know that brand. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. And you guys can just, I'm not going to buy it, but you guys can let me know if you know what that is. Let me see. Come on, phone. Come on, there we go. No idea what that is. Okay, there is a label inside. What does that say? Made in Chile. So I'm going to zoom in on this. This ought to be interesting. Sicarteris Tayanis Made in Chile. I wonder if this is leather. Carteria is Italianus made in Italy. Or Chile, I'm sorry. Hmm. Is this leather? There's not a tag. Let's see if there's a tag in it. Oh. So see on something like this, I'm afraid not to get it. But I don't know. I think I'm going to pass on it. I am going to pass on it. We're just going to make that decision right now. We're going to pass on it. I'm sure I'll get in trouble by someone. I'm always getting in trouble for not picking up purses or jewelry that I should have. So nothing there. I'm going to go up here and take a look at the jewelry. See what they've got. And I may take a look at the whatnots here. Little trinkets. It's a very clean store. Super clean store. Now, the last time I was in here, they had way more the jewelry than this. Lots more jewelry than this, but we're still going to look. Okay, what are these? This is interesting. What are those? What is that? Is that a belt? What kind of... So, I don't know what that is either, but we're going to take a look at it. I have no idea. Uh, if you guys know what that is, let me know. So it's some kind of a rhinestone. I don't know if that's a belt or what that is. But we're going to find out. I'm going to see if we can't see that up close. So I may not have those, them take these necklaces out because I try to eyeball it with the camera to see if there's anything that I want them to take out for me to look at. And like you've seen in some of my past videos, sometimes when I don't, when I have taken some necklaces and things out for them to show me, I end up finding more than I thought I would. Now these earrings right here are beautiful. Look at these right in the center. So we can zoom in. So those are pretty. I don't know what those are. It looks like they're missing some rhinestones, so we're gonna pass on those. Got that coin bracelet right there with the attached ring. And then you have all of these bracelets here. Now this one on the very end I like. You see it right there in the center. It looks like a series of rhinestones, so I'll probably have them take these out and let me take a look at those. That's really the only one I'm interested in. So we're gonna see what that looks like up close. So I am just, don't, I have no idea what that is. This flower necklace there, I don't know what that is either. Okay, this has to be the most odd thing that I've ever purchased at a thrift store before. But this is a rhinestone jewelry contraption, and she told me it's like a bra. So it's all rhinestones. So 
So we are going to get that, and I'm sure you guys will have fun seeing that on a future sale. But if you want to see it up close and detailed. So, that's probably by far the strangest thing I've ever found at a thrift store in jewelry. <laughs> Never seen anything like that. This is pretty too, though. Sure it makes out there that needs it. Oh, that will be on here too. <laughs> That's true. The clerk said there's probably a stripper out there that would probably be looking for that. So that's going to be great fun when you guys have the next live sale. <laughs> this is nice though. I can't tell if anything's missing in it. This has lots of rhinestones or crystals or something, so we're going to get this one also. Okay. So here are the bracelets. That's it. Let's see what they look like. I may take a look too at the, I call it what nots and wares. This is cute. This looks like, so it's BR. I've seen that before. Oh gosh, and I cannot remember the brand, but I've had it before. Or BB, you guys are gonna know it when you see it. And I know these are great bracelets and things, but I'm gonna pass on this and I do like the stones on it. I think they're very pretty. That poor clerk was looking at me when I was looking at that piece of jewelry going, what is this? And then she told me. I was kinda, when I was talking to you guys and talking out loud. So on this one, I was interested in this, neck, this bracelet right here. So look at this. We're gonna take that off and see what it is. I don't know, I'm hoping it has a tag on it. Even if it does not, I like the style of this bracelet a lot. And it does have a tag on it, so let's just surprise ourselves in just a few minutes. So you have a toggle clasp here. Maybe we won't surprise ourselves, I don't know. But anyway, you have a toggle clasp here. Beautiful gold tones, let's see what this is. So let's see if we can zoom in on this and you can see it up close. That bracelet's toggle clasp. You have, it looks like about eight to 10 links. Let's see what the branding is on this. I don't know what it's gonna be. So hopefully it's something worth our while. So it's Ann Klein. That's not bad. That's a good looking Ann Klein bracelet. I've bought Ann Klein before in the past. I think this is a good condition bracelet. And we will probably get that one. Maybe. I'll have to think about it. I don't know if I'll get it or not, guys. I think I'm going to pass on it. Not sure got what kind of beads these are. This is cute. It's not a stretch bracelet. I think this is pretty. I don't think I'm going to get it. But it's beautiful. So this is what we're getting, guys. We're getting a rhinestone top. Lobster clasps. We'll have that on one of the live shows. So never seen anything like this before, but it is what it is. And then we're getting this beautiful rhinestone bracelet. So let's zoom in on this a little bit if we can. Let's see if we can. As you're going to see here, well, let's see, we're going to try to zoom in. Hold on just a minute. You're going to see here that it has rhinestones, three rhinestones in rows all the way around on both sides, and then right there on the edge. So let's see if we can't zoom in. That's a really pretty bangle bracelet, so we're getting that one because you guys know I love rhinestones. I don't see that any are missing, so that's a good deal. So look at how nice and clean this store is. So we're going to go back here and look at what I call the whatnots. 
which are also the wares, which are also the knickknacks, which are also whatever you want to call them. Never know what you're going to find. This is probably one of the neatest Goodwills I've seen. So you have a lot of Christmas stuff here. So we're going to, as you know in the past, I don't look slowly at all of these things because I'm usually looking for purses and jewelry. That's a great cast iron skillet. Having been raised up with cast iron skillets, I don't think that one is old. My parents would always cook in them and I still have the old ones. Looking at the coffee mugs, because you guys know I love to collect coffee mugs if they're unusual. That one looks vintage and it looks like it has been redone. Redone meaning repaired. What is this? Not seeing any coffee mugs that just stand out. Let's see if they have any decorative items over here. I love buying um, shelves. So I love getting small shelves. Let's see, here's a cute little jewelry box. Gold. Gold and blue, $3.43. Here's a shelf. Oh, oh no. Oh, I love these. Not the shelf. The shelf's okay. I like this shelf. $3.93. Very cheap decorative item. It's beautiful shelf. But again, I love to collect. I don't collect them. I get them and use them. The small shelves. Like that. But let me show you something. So look at these. So these are Cabo San Lucas. So these are touristy boxes, but I think they're cute. You can put little rings in here, trinkets. Let's see how much it is. It doesn't say. These are pretty. Here's something I'm gonna pick up though, guys. Look at these. You see these guys right here? So I already have a set of these, but I like them so much that I'm probably gonna get them again. I need to put those on eBay, so I do have some at home that I have not used yet. But I like these a lot. There's not any damage to them. I may put that set on eBay. So you see they're all carved out of wood. And they dance. But anyway, those are great. Look at this birdhouse. It's a faux birdhouse. There's not any place for the bird to go. So just for looks. But we're going to get these three items right here. I like these a lot. So again, I already have a set of those, but I love them so much. And you guys know I don't sell my whatnotty stuff on eBay or on YouTube. But I wonder if I should start. I could start selling like little pieces of things every now and then. Let's see, can I find anything else? I don't see anything else. So we're gonna go check out. So we got that rhinestone. We got that rhinestone 
What is and what is this? What is what is this? Empty eyeshadow palette. Anastasia Beverly Hills. Should I get those to resell? So open these eyeshadows up. It looks like they're black eyeshadow. Anasta Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't know if these are worth reselling or not. I haven't ever resold makeup. Well, sadly, it's not black eyeshadow. It's just these shadow palettes where you can uh, put your eyeshadow in there. So never mind. So these are not sterling. Let's see if they're sterling or not. I don't think so. Very ornate. So these are the tops to some candle abras. So we will not be getting that, but I just wondered if maybe they were sterling. And they're not, so we are gonna pass on those. Hmm. I mean, when you find pieces like this, you really need to pick them up and check them to see if they're sterling. I can't tell you how many times I have found sterling pieces in thrift stores. I have lots of candle abras that are sterling. So don't assume it's silver plate. Definitely pick it up and take a look. Use your phone to focus in and see if it might be sterling silver. You just never know. This is silver plate. I have a lot of these dishes like this. I love to stack them. Well, I'm not seeing anything else. That's cute. I'm not seeing anything else that I can't live without. So I did find one bracelet. Found ooh, that smells. I found one bracelet. And I found that rhinestone top that you guys will find for sale in a future show. So on that note, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, so you know when I post new content, when I have live pop-up, buy it now sales, as well as videos, thrifting videos. And I hope you guys enjoy those, and I hope that you feel like you're thrifting alongside me, because you are. When I'm looking at things like I am, you are seeing the same thing I'm seeing, so... Thank y'all. We're on the road to 6,000 subscribers. And if it weren't for you guys, I would not be there. So thank you so much. And we will see you in the next Live Buy It Now sale, which I may have another one pretty soon because I have lots of jewelry. And find my purses on eBay at ebay.com forward slash USR forward slash costume jewelry. Now on to the next thrift store. See y'all.